Okay, my second trip to Todd's farm. This happened back in um, August when I was staying in New Hampshire. Just now getting the video up on YouTube, but second trip there. Nothing really beats the excitement of being in line in a flea market early in the morning. Can we pull in the right section? Or you're hoping you're going to see something cool. Nothing's more hopeful than the flea market early in the morning. How look on your face like you've just eaten a bad clam. <laughs> okay, probably a few more things more interesting, but yes, exciting times. Hi. Hi. Uh, just shopping. Here. Yeah. That was funny. I don't know if you could hear it, but the customer was telling the vendor, asking them how they were supposed to make money at that price. Well, I don't know. How's the vendor supposed to make money at that price? Everyone's got to make money, I guess. But yeah, it's always fun. First thing you see these people setting up. This was crazy. I made uh, my ran into these friends of mine from brimfield there you go there you go i first met you guys in brimfield yes and now you're now todd's farm um or i first met them at brimfield they followed the channel but here they were setting up at todd's farm and i think they're getting ready to do brimfield possibly in the uh in the spring upcoming so if you see my brimfield check them out definitely the old stuff some good vintage stuff nice set of merchandise that they have Cool, uh, cool industrial stool. Yes, my first round, I completely struck out. I made a complete loop with zero buys. As you can see, it's getting lighter, more, uh, that's a cool railroad sign. Some cool vintage stuff coming out, cool old stuff, but I didn't make a first good buy until mostly finishing my second trip around. I made three total trips around the flea market. Yeah, market was starting to fill up. I got there so early, as you can see, I got there so early. Um, beat most of the vendors there, which is always, I guess, a good thing when you're trying to score the best stuff, but it's all luck of the draw as to who's standing there when the vendor first pulls the thing out. And of course, sometimes the prices slide down, maybe the fifth person who asked that day, it's cheaper, some early, early local sports cards, Boston Red Sox and such. But yeah, um, this is a good market. It has a nice mixture of stuff. A lot of vintage stuff, a lot of old, old and real antiques, but also vintage stuff, but not much in the way of junk in terms of like t-shirts or something. I don't know. The British are coming, I guess. Yeah. Fun, fun market. Look at that. Beaver chew. Ooh, lobster. Don't know about the lobster. I passed on the lobster. Did not buy the lobster. Uh, early table, gate leg table. Carpets and rugs, rugs and carpets. Lobster shorts, I did not buy the lobster shorts either. It's also another vendor who I know, cool guy, friendly guy. Here we are going to the second flea market. This is the top secret flea market I went to a couple weeks earlier with my friend Aaron. They do not allow dogs, my dog stayed home. I, don't take my, I didn't take my dog to any of the flea markets while I was in here, up here. This flea market has a little more uh, normal flea market stuff, meaning DVDs, t-shirts, the like cool mid-century modern piece right there. I did not buy that mid-century modern piece, but this market has uh, both shady spots and sunny spots. By the time I got there, it was well underway. I got there well after nine o'clock, so it was well underway, but uh, still some fun stuff. Some nice early stuff. Guy jamming his guitar. Yeah, this market has a big mixture of stuff and like i said it got really hot this day uh which makes sense it is uh was august but it got sunny this kind of market this market i think in particular you have to be there super early but i chose to go to todd's market earlier i used to see the confederate flag up north sarcasm of course um cool cradle though taper legs early paint neat piece for a cradle after my first video i was told uh to stay away no more <laughs> No more videos about Todd's Farm or any other New England flea markets that I went to. And I guess they think they probably won because I didn't actually post the video right away. But here I am. I did shop and film several more flea markets. No one ever said anything in person. So, yeah, keyboard warrior telling me to keep my camera at home. Sadly, I did not for you, sir or madam. I have filmed and made another video about it here. Let's dive right into my purchases, though. As you can see, this is all the stuff I bought at Todd's Farm. Pretty good load um, overall. I was very happy. This was well worth the trip, about a 45 minute trip for me from Dover, New Hampshire. 
well worth the drive down bought some pretty cool stuff my very first buys actually were these three pieces of redware the two jugs and the pan um really really happy with them not cheap not like uh weren't like giving away the person knew that they had early antique redware but super excited to buy them like the form like the glazes on these jugs they look very nice um probably made in that area i would assume massachusetts or new hampshire but um super super cool pieces of early american redware i did sell those at brimfield and i had the same vendor i bought the pan um never owned a redware pan this size nice big one have not sold that yet but pretty cool piece happy to own it my next buy was this uh carved wood plaque damaged and split um signed on the back signed and dated but uh kind of cool thing uh was cheap enough it was like five bucks or something so neat neat thing uh, and i bought the beaver chew that someone painted a face on but <laughs> i did sell this at brimfield a couple weeks later not sure why i bought it but it was cheap it was like eight bucks i think i sold it for like 25 um yeah i bought a little uh a barber's pole sign uh, my buddy aaron actually took that and sold it to some friend of his who has a barber shop bought two of these new old stock posters um the guy had like 20 of them or 30 of them all, all different um like from a calendar but i only bought these two because the graphics really spoke to me otherwise i thought they were kind of kind of boring the rest of them or just you know pretty generic but i thought those two were pretty neat bought this neat needle needlework um odds fellow thing pretty cool flip that already um via photograph to somebody bought this sampler have to do a little bit of research on it um still have not listed it but planning on listing it on ebay pretty soon i think the person was from up that way never really finished it signed and dated bought a few sports cards as you know me can't pass up on sports cards yeah um early set of tobacco cards that I actually have a bunch of because they featured uh, Olympic runners, track stars, also swimmers, boxers, golfers. And here are the pur purchases from the top secret flea market. Not more sports cards, as you can see, nothing super great. Did have to buy this because it's Emily's initials. So bought that, packed it up, took it home to the storage unit. Bought these two pieces that I think were both related to, um, I guess laundry, I don't know. This thing's kind of cool, early nails, um, leather strap, hinges, nice patina on it. Never never had one of those before, some sort of press or something. And then just a typical laundry stick. Uh, and then more sports cards. Pay like five bucks for all these. Uh, Shaq McDonald's rookie card, Jordan, and some scratch offs from the 70s, uh, top baseball. Cool stuff. So yeah, that's my video. Uh, my second trip to Todd's Farm and second visit to the Top Secret Flea Market. I think I did well, uh, especially at Todd's Farm, but that's kind of how it goes because that's the flea market I went to first, so I was there earliest, but happy with my buys overall. And uh, hey, nice fun day in, uh, early, in uh, mid August. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to follow my antiques journey. And uh, hey, maybe I'll see you at a flea market or antique show near you. Peace.